What is up GTA fans, it's the Stone Anarchist bringing you guys another daily GTA content video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that red sub button down below. Go ahead, only takes a second, and that way you guys won't miss it on all the great daily GTA content videos. I bring you guys a couple videos a day, very interesting, good content, and you guys won't want to miss out on all future videos to come. So hit that red sub button down below so you get it in your feed. Also, if you enjoyed today's video and find it informative, smash that thumbs up button for me. All that support, the subscriptions, the likes, and all that stuff helps my channel grow. And that's what I want to see. I want to see my family, my YouTube family grow, my Stoned Anarchist family grow. And it's you guys, the fans, I do this for. So please, help me grow this channel. All that will be much appreciated. And without further ado, let's move into today's GTA content video. Today I want to do a break trailer breakdown analysis video of the both of the trailers we got for next gen. And just showing a few snapshot pictures from the trailers and just my thoughts on them and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the first photo here. This was in the new trailer that was just released the other day. And you could, first off, I'd just like to point out that look at that traffic and look at how those reds and those blues and the colors are just more vagrant. The graphics is definitely uh, heightened. It definitely looks a lot better. And I like that extra traffic added appeal. The next picture here, you can see just a lot more stuff going on in the GTA world now. You can see you got looks like even a protester there holding a sign. You got dogs, bicyclists, and obviously the dog is hinting at maybe a possible pet DLC or having pets and stuff. That would be pretty cool. And here's just another picture of that protester. I think this is really cool because living in an era where we see a lot of protests happening around the world, a lot of people fed up with government and how society is being run, it's interesting to see Grant that thought will bring that into the game and implement stuff like this, a protester and stuff like that. I really like that because in my personal life, I'm an activist in that kind of sense. Next picture here, we got a picture of a zombie. Now, why would Grand Theft Auto put this one zombie that this only there's only one zombie in Grand Theft Auto, that one that sits down on that Hollywood strip there? Why would they keep putting him in these trailers and stuff? If only they're hinting at a possible zombie DLC coming to Grand Theft Auto Line Line in the future. I think that's what that is. And that zombie looks really good with the next-gen graphics. So the next picture we got here is a nice picture of the older trailer of the ocean. And just look at that water. It looks so good. It looks a lot better the way that the sun is breaking through the clouds. A little bit of the rainbow look. The, the, the waves. Everything just looks so much better. The textures, I'm loving the new next-gen graphics. And, of course, this next picture of the wildlife and the grass, I love that. I, I, the Grand Theft Auto currently on Xbox 360, the grass is just, like, plain. There's, it doesn't. It just looks like plain land, colored green. But, actually, you can see the grass standing up and flowing in the next-gen. And, like, look at this next picture here, once again, with the traffic. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how people handle the traffic, because I know I like to fly down the road in my Adders and Zentoro and stuff like that. But with this, all this extra traffic, it's going to be a lot to maneuver around those cars. We probably won't be able to drive them as fast, but it does give it that extra realistic appeal, which I enjoy. And, of course, here we picture Franklin walking down the street and just a lot more people walking around. Not so dead. The city looks alive and thriving in the new next gen. And, of course, that car in the background sitting there hinting at a possible Underglow DLC, which I would love to see come to Grand Theft Auto Online. And this next picture, again, look at the cars on the bridge. Now, in the in the video, these cars are actually at a standstill, so they're at a light or traffic's backed up, and that's awesome that there's just so much more traffic and vehicles on the road to make it more look like a city in real life. And then, of course, we got the picture of Trevor here on the mountain and Bigfoot standing off in the background there. He's looking that way. It looks very cool. So another Bigfoot Easter egg in the trailer, hinting at uh, Bigfoot maybe being around in next gen again which is very cool. I love that. I love the little Easter eggs. Love Bigfoots, UFOs, all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Gives it extra added little secret hints and fun stuff like that. Now here, these pictures are what I'm most excited about. I did a video previously on GTA Online about how I'm very disappointed with how the, the ocean and marine life was because there's so much beautiful ocean to explore but literally nothing down there to, to bring it to life. And a lot of people use Grand Theft Auto online above ground and never actually explore the oceans like I enjoy doing. And just look at this. We're going to have hammerheads, great whites, fish. And I was really excited when the next-gen trailer came out the other day and showing a whale, an orca. That is so awesome. I hope they don't stop there. I hope they got giant squids, blue whales, everything, uh, sea turtles, manta rays. I hope they just fill the oceans with life and to give it that added appeal so that 
people now can enjoy the underwater aspects of it. Hope we can do scuba diving activities, maybe uh, being in a shark cage. There's just so much things I would like to see. And this picture here, just to show you guys, that on GTA Online and single player previously, you'd get one shark once in a while. And online, there was no sharks. And look at this next-gen picture. There's I've counted 10 sharks swimming around in a school there. So, so much more wildlife, especially in the underwater, to give it that extra new appeal to actually want to ex go under the water and explore. And I'm very excited for this, but what I'm hoping is that these snapshot pictures are not for single player because Grand Theft Auto single player on the current gen, Xbox 360, they did have a few wildlife, you know, cougars and, and deer and stuff like that in offline versions and, and the shark. And I hope that these pictures aren't just all this stuff is going to be in single player and once again next gen uh, uh, online will lack in that kind of thing. So I hope that they bring it to online as well. I'm super excited for next gen to come out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. What do you think of the new trailers? Are there anything you guys noticed that I didn't notice that you'd like to point out? Let me know in the comments section below. What are you guys going to be playing? I'm probably going to go with PS4. Um, I'm pretty disappointed PC was pushed back because uh, I would have went PC out of the three. But it looks like I'm going to start out on the PS4, maybe move to PC later on, do some mod videos and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments section below. This was a trailer breakdown analysis, just pointing out that beautiful new graphics, new scenery, new wildlife, and also new 100 songs coming to the radio stations. I did a video previously about that, a leak, telling you guys that there'll be new songs coming to GT Online, and I was proven right with that video. That'll be linked in the description down below. New songs, new graphics, new cars, a bunch of new stuff. Hope you guys enjoy it. This video, I'm your host, Stone Anarchist, for this trailer breakdown analysis. Peace.